Have a pet or patient that was treated with Stelfanta? If so, wait till 28. When assessing treatment response at day 28, if there is no evidence of macroscopic disease or a wound, you don't need to aspirate. If you do, sometimes there'll be mast cells there as part of the healing process, and it can just really be confusing. If there is a wound, but there's no mass or nodule present, what you're gonna to wanna to do is recheck after the wound is healed to make sure there's still a complete response. If there is tumor mass or nodule, that's when you wanna do your fine needle aspirate. If there is no mast cell tumor on that aspirate, great. Then you can just go to your regularly scheduled rechecks. However, if there is residual mast cell tumor seen on that cytology, you wanna consider the reasons that you didn't have a complete response and assess for retreatment. Remember, 75% of dogs have a complete response with one treatment, but when they looked at the dogs that got one or two treatments, 87% of them will have a complete response. Once a complete response has been determined, you'll wanna monitor that site, whether you're the owner or the veterinarian, periodically, just like you would a surgery site. Personally, I like to recheck them at least every three months for the first year. In the initial study, 89% of dogs still had a complete response at 12 months. So remember, to determine if the mast cell tumors had a complete response to Stelfanta, wait till 28.